Okay, here we are for the challenge questions of chapter nine. So, there's only one. It's quite a fun one in an odd sort of way. So, if we have a triangle, which is A, B, C, we are told it is 1, 1, so we know it's isosceles, we know it's 90 degrees, we know it's 45 degrees. Okay? And then they move out another meter to give us point D. And then they move out another meter to give us point E. And they want us to prove that angle AEB plus angle ADB is equal to angle ACB. Okay, and just to make this a bit simpler, we're going to say this is angle C, this is angle D, and this is angle E. Okay, so you can see here A, E, B is the angle E, A, D, B is angle D, and A, C, B is what I'm calling angle C. So we literally have E plus D equals C. Okay, where to start? I think what we need to do is get some way that we've got E and D together. We know what C is, we know it's 45. We know what we've got, okay? But we need to know what these two are and how can we do it. So what I'm going to do is I think I am going to take these and I am going to say something like, um, I want to put D and D inside the same triangle. So if I put one meter here and I have point A and B, and I slide it out here to point D, which is two meters, I get angle D. At the same point, if I slide it out this way for three meters, one, two, three, and come up another two, uh, sorry, one meter, Okay, that's like A, that's like B, and that's like E. And so I can call that angle E. Okay, I'm going to join my two A's, and it's going to make me a nice sort of envelope shape, which allows me to start working it. At least I've got a shape now that's got D and E in it, and I can combine them. They're beside each other, because straight away, we can look at that middle angle here and we can say it's 180 minus D and E. Okay, which means we can actually say up in the corner here, because these are parallel lines, okay, this is angle D and this is angle E. Now, length of sides. A to A, 5 metres. OK. And length AD. Length AD is going to be 2 squared plus 1 squared square rooted equals the square root of 5. And EA is going to be 3 squared plus 1 squared, 10 squared. Now then, I'm going to start by saying the sin of angle C I need to know what this side is. 1 squared plus 1 squared is root 2. So 
sinusy using opposite over hypotenuse on the original triangle is 1 over root 2. Done. I'm now going to think, well, can I use the sine rule? That's the easiest rule to use. Cosine you possibly could use, but it's complicated, or the squaring of all the sides. Okay, and I've got something down here that doesn't have any of the C angles in it anyway. Okay, but let's see what we can work out. See if we can find out what D is, see if we can find out what E is, or the combination of them. Okay, so remember we're looking for E plus D or D plus E, whichever way around you want to look at it. So I am going to take the side here, 5 meters, and I'm going to say it is equal to the sin of 180 minus d plus e. And that is equal to, well, we can take d, which is 10 over the sin of D. Okay. Do we know what the sin of D is? Coming down here, sin of D is going to be the opposite, 1 meter divided by the hypotenuse, root 5. So sin of D is 1 over root 5. Let's substitute that in. So we've got 5 over sine 180 minus d plus e is equal to root 10 divided by 1 over root 5. What is root 10 divided by 1 over root 5. That's the same as root 10 multiplied by root 5. Okay. Because of keep, change, flip. Root 5. And it is... Uh, where's the calculator? 5 root 2. So I've got two 5s here. I'm going to divide by 5. 1 over the sine of 180 minus d plus e. Equals root 2. Really don't like this sign on the bottom. So let's multiply by through the sign, divide by the root 2. So 1 over root 2 is equal to sine 180 minus d plus e. Okay. could really do with getting rid of this 180 okay now we are told that the sine of theta is equal to 180 minus theta uh, sorry is equal to the sine of 180 minus theta. Why is that? How can you say that? Consider your sine graph. It does that. It gives you 360. It gives you 180. If we have your theta 
and it goes minus theta. This continues over this way and does that, doesn't it? Okay, so sine of 180 minus the DE. So the distance from here to here is your 360. Okay, and because of your minus theta, okay, you end up with, so remember this is theta, and if you do 180 from here, okay, or going in the other direction, okay, it will give you the same answer. So we can write from that that the 1 over root 2 equals the sine of d plus e. We've got something else up here that is equal to 1 over root 2, sine c. Let's just write that out again. Sine c is equal to 1 over root 2. And so we can now say that sine c is equal to sine d plus e. If you take the inverse sine of both sides, you are left with c equals d plus e. And that's it.